The retaining wall is an important architectural part of the garden. Its primary task is to strengthen the soil on slopes, prevent landslides. But in fact, the functions of the strengthening object are much more. For example, there are many photos on the internet where the wall decorates some sections of a country house. To understand whether the retaining wall will fit perfectly into the landscape design of your site, you need to study more than one photo of its variants, taken on other sites. In addition to their appearance, it is worth knowing how they are erected in order to delve into all the nuances of construction and the difficulties that will have to be faced when designing, which problem areas on the site can be corrected. Retaining walls are advised to be erected in areas with a slope. The walls can be of different types. They are differentiated by material. Brick, natural stone, concrete with a plaster coating. The material and type of construction should be combined with the general style of the house and garden. In order for the wall to inspire confidence, it is necessary to connect rectangular bricks or natural stones of a regular shape during laying in a certain order, so the load will be distributed evenly. The calculation of retaining walls of various types includes checks on resistance of the wall to shifts, soil mobility, reliability of fragments of the retaining structure and places of joining of parts, possible deformations. This work is quite time-consuming, even for a professional builder. It is necessary to make miscalculations on many complex formulas, while taking into account the impact of several factors on the structure at the same time. To build a safe structure, it is recommended to seek help from experienced specialists. Decorative walls can be constructed without calculations, based on the minimum requirements. If the type of retaining wall and its design are selected correctly and the technology was not violated during the construction, such a protective element will ensure the safety of its operation even with significant changes in the terrain of the site. When choosing a place for the construction of a summer kitchen on the territory of a suburban area, you need to take into account a number of nuances starting from the equipment that will be located here, ending with interior decoration and furniture. At the same time, it is important to know how far the building will be located from the country house, whether it will become part of it or a separate structure. 
If you look at the truth, it's obvious that not everyone has a large plot of land. So when building a summer kitchen, it is necessary to sacrifice a vegetable garden or a garden. Also, we must not forget about the financial costs that affect the size and equipment of the building. However, it is possible to create a comfortable and cozy cooking area even of small size. But at the same time, it will have an attractive appearance and will become a central figure in the landscaping of the territory. Experiences that need to be taken into account in the summer kitchen project before starting self-construction. The building should be as far away as possible from the toilet and the roadway, as well as the place of breeding animals. If the summer kitchen is equipped with a barbecue or oven, then it should be located at a safe distance from buildings that may catch fire. The recommended distance is 7 meters. It is best to place the summer kitchen closer to the trees that give thick shade. It is necessary to conduct all communications here. It is necessary to determine the type of construction, open or closed structure. Choice of design. Equipment. It is necessary to provide for presence of a fireplace, barbecue or oven, gas or electric. It is necessary to take into account the winds, their strength and direction so that the smoke does not go into the guest's recreation area. A private house is not only a cozy home where you can enjoy peace and quiet, but also a private plot that can be properly designed. Of course, many pay attention to landscape design, planting trees and flowers, decoration of paths and fences, but the main element of the site remains a recreation area. In turn, a comfortable outdoor recreation area cannot be imagined without an outdoor fireplace because it is he who will gather everyone around him, will become a key symbol that attracts attention. Features of an outdoor fireplace Before creating an outdoor fireplace, it is important to choose its location, taking into account some recommendations of experts and your own preferences. First of all, the object should not be located close to a residential building, as food, outdoors and smoke can enter the house. At the same time, it is necessary to track the rows of the winds, because the smoke should not go to the dwelling or deep into the plot. 
As mentioned earlier, an outdoor fireplace can become a decoration of the site, which means that it cannot be hidden by plants or fences. It is important that everyone can see the design, appreciating it. In addition, the open location of the fireplace will allow to control the burning process, regardless of where you are at the site. You can protect the flame from drafts with the help of a hedge, because it will provide the necessary microclimate, give a sense of comfort, but at the same time will not interfere with the review. At the same time, it is important to remember about fire safety and slightly distance the elements of landscape design from an open fire, preventing the structure from catching fire. You can also contact the fire safety department of your region, which will allow you to get a high quality recommendation and learn about the standards adopted in the area. Outdoor fireplace and its varieties. Also before the implementation of the idea for the construction of a street fireplace, it is necessary to determine the type of construction that will be used on the site. The type of fireplace depends on its functionality, as well as the ability to move from one place to another, stationary or mobile. When choosing fireplace, it is worth considering not only how it will be used, but also the dimensions of the structure and its location. Fireplaces with decorative and utilitarian purposes deserve special attention, which only help to properly design the plot, creating a cozy recreation area. To implement the project, a metal bowl on forged legs surrounded by natural stone is used. Of course, such a fire source cannot be called a full-fledged fireplace, because you can only cook marshmallows here. At the same time, this device can be portable, which will allow you to hide it from the winter period of time. An alternative solution is a Burgess oven, which is easy to operate and can be installed anywhere on the site. Depending on the technology of the device, the following types of outdoor fireplaces are distinguished. Decorative fireplace with an open fire. A bone fire surrounded by heat resistant material, stone or brick, glass or metal. A smokehouse is a device that allows you to cook delicious food, gathering friends and relatives around the fireplace. Special attention should be paid to the factory portable smokehouses, which are easy to operate and have a small weight. A barbecue is a simple structure that is used for cooking meat and other dishes on coals or open fire. The grill can be both portable, metal and stationary, laid out of bricks. Barbecue oven A structure with a chimney, with which you can cook a barbecue both on coals and open fire. In general, you can cook other dishes, it is enough to use fire-resistant dishes. Bread or pompeian oven is an ideal solution for lovers of bread and pizza. Pizza, bread and pies. In this design, heat is provided by heated internal walls made of heat-intensive and heat-resistant materials. If the size of the plot allows, then you can use a design that combines several types of outdoor fireplace at once. For example, you can build a barbecue oven with a smokehouse, which opens up unlimited possibilities for the cook. In addition, fireplaces are divided into several categories, depending on what material is used for the, their implementation. A brick fireplace is a popular option, because the building material heats up quickly maintains their temperature for a long time and allows not only to cook food, but also to warm up near it in bad weather. A stone fireplace is a structure that is lined with natural stone, that does not emit toxic elements when heated. The stone has an attractive appearance and also perfectly combines with brick, metal and forged elements. Outdoor fireplace design when creating a recreation area, it is important to understand that an outdoor fireplace is not only a source of fire that allows you to cook food, but also an element of landscape design that can be used as a decoration of the site. 
When designing a fireplace, it is important to pay attention to the design of the house, its exterior, as well as to other buildings located on the site. In the optimal case, the same materials that have already been used for finishing the facade or laying garden paths can be used for it. Also, the design of an outdoor fireplace depends on its functionality. If the house is located in the city, it is better to give preference to small portable models. In addition, there are fireplaces that do not require firewood, respectively. The models does not emit acrid smoke. Of course, it is unlikely that you will be able to cook something on such a fireplace, but it looks stylish and the landscape design of the size is emphasized. Choosing an outdoor fireplace, you can also focus on the style of the site. For example, metal and glass models will perfectly fit into a modern design. A bowl with an ornament will emphasize the sophistication of the classical style. And a stone staff will become a key element of the site made in the country or province style. An open fire source can be bought, but it's much more interesting to make it yourself, using a brick or stone laid out in the shape of a circle. Such a fire pit not only allows you to cook food, but also to warm up after spending an evening in friendly company. A more refined option is a large stationary outdoor fireplace made of brick. Unfortunately, not all owners of private houses have a large plot of land. Despite this, everyone wants to arrange a corner where you can spend time with family and friends, sit alone with your favorite book or a cup of tea, enjoying the surrounding landscape. Gazebo is a building that can bring you closer to nature, give you coziness and comfort. If the plot is small, then you will have to take a bold step, attach a gazebo to a private house. Features and advantages of the combined construction The addition of a gazebo to a private house is an original design idea that has a number of advantages. The attached gazebo can be both open and closed. In the first case, it is enough to protect the interior from precipitation and wind. In the second option, you can equip not only a comfortable dining area, but also a winter garden, a greenhouse or a full-fledged living room. If the gazebo is spacious, then you can install a barbecue, but you need to take care of the presence of not only a chimney and thermal insulation, but also a solid foundation. The bearing wall of the gazebo will be made by the wall of the house, which will save money. It is most convenient to attach the gazebo to the wall, where there are window or door openings. It is also good if there are flower beds and garden trees nearby. The gazebo is a compact building, which on one side will be reliably protected from the vagaries of the weather. For decoration, you can use both classic details, wood carving or forged elements, as well as modern materials or indoor plants. The project of a gazebo attached to the house. In order for the attached gazebo to be not only beautiful but also reliable, it is important to make a project. Before starting construction work, it is necessary to determine such nuances. Calculate the size of the gazebo. As you know, 4 square meters are enough for a comfortable stay for one person. If three people are planning to rest in the gazebo, then the area should be 10-12 square meters, etc. While the height of the gazebo should be at least 2 meters. Determine the type and the characteristics of the soil, which is important for laying the foundation and determining its type. Decide whether there will be a fireplace, a barbecue or a summer kitchen in the gazebo. Choose the type of construction, open or closed. Experienced architects offer removable glazing, which will make it easy to turn an open gazebo into a closed one, and vice versa. Tools and materials for the construction of an attached gazebo In order to build a gazebo, it is better to use environmentally friendly and durable materials with low weight, good performance characteristics. In addition, the materials must be accessible and easy to install. As a result, the main material used for the construction of an attached gazebo is wood. 
Using timber, boards and slats, it is easy to make a beautiful gazebo, but it is important to carefully protest the wood using means that protect the building material from moisture and insects. Also, for construction, you will need a concrete mixture, sand, cement and gravel, and metal pipes. The frame of the gazebo can be made of wooden beams, polymer or steel pipes. Mandatory structural elements – anchor bolts and nails, metal corners and screws. As a floor covering, various materials can be used, for example, wood or paving slabs, granite or concrete. The floor of an open gazebo is better made with materials resist to aggressive environmental influences. Wooden boards are more suitable for an enclosed gazebo. As for the roof, a strong wooden frame and a crate are needed for its arrangement. The rafters are treated with special antiseptics and refractory agents. It is better to use the same roofing materials as the main building. It is also important to have the following tools at hand – a hammer and a screwdriver, a shovel and a tape measure, a construction level and a circular saw, a concrete mix mixer. Is everything ready for construction? Then we proceed to the construction of a beautiful gazebo attached to the house. There are dozens of nuances in the construction of the gazebo attached to the house, including the location and size of the plot the appearance of the house and the materials used. Of course, all this depends on the specific case, so we will consider only basic recommendations that allow you to build a beautiful gazebo. You need to start work with soil preparation. To do this, marking is made on the selected side using pegs and ropes, after which they proceed to creating the foundation. If the house and gazebos are being built at the same time, then a ribbon foundation is used. A trench is being dug along the entire perimeter of the future extension with a depth of up to 0.4 meters. The formwork is being installed. A cushion of gravel is created, which is poured with concrete. However, in most cases, the owners of the plot decide to attach a gazebo after the construction of housing, which means it is better to equip a columnar foundation. Pits are dug in the corners and perimeter of the building, as well as in the places where there will be floor beams. Crushed stone and sand are poured into the bottom of each of them. A reinforcing mesh is laid on top, and the sand is spilled with water. Roofing material is laid on the bottom of the pit. Concrete or brick pillars are installed. Wooden formwork is being installed. The structure is filled with concrete. After three weeks, you can proceed to the next stages of construction. The frame of the building is better made of wood. A lower building of beams is installed on the foundation. Installation of a diagonal bundle. The walls are being forced out. It is better to use metal corners for connection. Installation of the upper bind of the structure. After that, you can move on to the roof of the gazebo, which is also made of wooden beams and boards. The prepared roof can be connected to the frame. The rafters should extend beyond the frame by 30-50 cm. The optimal slope angle is 10-15 degrees. The type of crate depends on the roofing, for example, for a soft roof or slate, you need to make a solid crate.
Ideas that help you do your job from have never been as relevant as now and while a lot of people can simply work from their living room, bedroom or even terrace, others need a little more privacy or a place where others won't distract you. This means that you will need a dedicated working space or rather a home office in which everyone will know that you are working and won't bother you. Another benefit of a home office is that you can keep your stuff in a way that is the most productive for you and you won't have to rearrange it after you are done working, unlike when working the living room. There is one small issue with home offices though. Unless you've planned for it, or you have an enormous home with a few unused spaces, you are likely not going to be able to fit in a way that allows you to work comfortably and isolated from everyone else. But someone had the brilliant idea of transforming farm sheds into modern home offices, which can be slightly isolated from the rest of the home and can provide you with the peace and quiet that you need in order to take care of your work responsibilities effectively. But before you make the decision of using a garden shed as a home office, there are a few things that you need to prepare for. First, choosing the right shed. Do you already have a shed that you want to convert into a home office? If you do, then that can be either a good thing or a bad thing. It all depends on the size, quality and layout of your shed. If you don't have one already, then you need to know what you're looking for before you look for sheds for sale online. The most important feature of your desired shed would be the size, flooring and windows. Everything else is purely subjective and can only depend on your budget, style and requirements. Second, electricity and insulation. Depending on where you live, you will need proper insulation for your shed office, especially if you will be working in the winter. The better the insulation is, the less energy you will need for heating. On the other hand, sound insulation is never a bad idea if you're looking for quality sheds in which you can work without any external distractions. But even though you might not always need insulation for your home office shed, you will definitely need electricity. It is quite difficult to imagine a work from home gig where you need no electricity. Third, finishing touches. The finishing touches of any project are usually the most satisfying ones, but they can also be the most difficult ones. Getting your garden shed ready for its new life as a home office will require some additional work. Mainly, you want to focus on the aesthetics before you bring all of your stuff inside. Get the paint done, put a carpet or wax the flooring, and even put up some drywall if you want to create a look that won't disclose that you're working from a shed. Many happy owners to their own suburban summer cottages know how good it is to go out in the open area in the summer, dig in the garden, grow environmentally friendly nitrate free vegetables and fruits, or go fishing in the morning and barbecue in the yard in the evening. On the side, in addition to the main and outbuildings, it will not be superfluous to have a garage, which is used not only as a car house, but also as a workshop or storage of garden tools. Types of garages, which one to choose? The garage can be built from wood, brick, expanded clay, concrete blocks, foam blocks, metal profiles and a wide variety of other building materials. To expand our horizons regarding garage construction, consider the existing types of garages. Capital Garage The building on a solid foundation is a complete real estate object. The solidity of the design allows you to equip a full-fledged cellar or inception pit to be a reliable shelter for a car or other equipment. It is built from high-quality and durable materials and is designed for a long service life. Combined garage consists of a solid foundation and metal walls. 
since structural elements are often bought ready-made, the installation of the garage is very fast. The rigged frame is attached to the base with anchor bolts and upholstered with corrugated board, siding or rather lightweight material. The structure is stable and is often erected in seismically unstable areas, on soft ground or where there is a danger of groundwater erosion. Temporary Garage Basically, such a garage is built when you need a shelter for a car, but for some reason you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. But there is nothing more permanent than temporary, so it is worth building it with quality materials. It will look most attractive from corrugated board. Since this is not a capital structure, its construction does not require any permits, which also saves money, time and nerves. Concrete Garage it is built from foam concrete blocks with a thickness of 150-20 mm and is faced with decorative bricks on the outside. The blocks are environmentally friendly, easy to use, have good heat and sound insulation. Their size allows construction in the shortest possible time, which is their indisputable advantage. At the cost of the material, such a garage will be one and a half two times lower than its brick counterpart. However, he should adhere to special technology in the masonry process. Requirements when choosing a construction site When choosing a material and a construction site for a personal plot, it is worth deciding on the following rules. Due to the fact that garage is a building of increased fire safety, non combustible materials should be used during its construction, for example, concrete, brick, stone, metal. Wooden structural elements should be treated with a special fireproof compound. The garage should be equipped with a good ventilation and, if it is being repaired with a special exhaust system, it should be possible to regularly ventilate the room. It is not worth keeping fuel in the garage. Another dedicated storage location should be arranged for it. Work on the repair of the electrics and the fuel system should be carried out outdoors or in a special equipped area. Next to the building, it is worth equipping a fire shield, a sandbox and a water tank. The road to the garage should be designed to be accessible and well lit. If the garage is not attached to the house, then the distance between it and neighboring buildings must be at least 10 meters. If there is any option to attach it to the house, then this should be done for a number of reasons. This saves space on the plot for a vegetable garden, garden and recreation area. You don't have to conduct far away electricity, gas or water. You can save money and install the heating system from home. It is realistic to make the entrance to the garage from the house and do not have to go outside again to get there. The garage next to the house also has a number of advantages. Reduces the risk of fire spreading from the garage to a residential building. You can do some noisy work in it and not interfere with the rest of your household. It can be placed directly in front of the gate, which will facilitate entry into it.